Hello and welcome to your eighth Fancade scripting tutorial. Uh, this is actually going to be your last Fancade scripting tutorial in the beginner series. And after this tutorial, you should have a basic understanding of scripting in Fancade. Right, so what we're going to talk about today is camera and lighting. So camera and lighting can be set with these two blocks right here. Set camera and set light. They can both be found inside the game category in the inventory. So let's take a look at the camera first. So the camera, the set camera block has three inputs. One for the camera's position, one for the camera's rotation, and one for the camera's distance or zoom. So let's grab some vectors, rotations, and numbers. So for the camera's position, oh, and by the way, if you leave this camera block unwired, nothing's going to happen. Anyways, when we plug in a vector into the camera's position input, uh, it's going to set the camera's position to that uh, position. So right now it's set to zero, zero, zero. So if I hit play, as you can see, as soon as I hit play, the camera uh, changes position and sets itself, it sets its position to 0, 0, 0 which is uh, the point right where the two axes meet. And of course, you can change the values of these to, let's say, 5 in the x-axis and 4 in the z. When you hit play, as you can see, the camera jumps to that position. Okay. So let's go uh, with rotation next. So the camera's rotation, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the, the angle of the camera, right? So right now, it's to, it, the rotation is at the zero, zero, zero. So if I hit play, uh, it's going to look kind of weird because uh, this angle right here is... Uh, like when you set it to zero, 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 the camera's angle is going to be like this. Um, and you, you can't really see anything from this angle. So let's change this value here. Let's change this rotation value. Let's go with 30 in the X axis and maybe 45 in the Y. And this will give us a nice uh, little angle here. And of course, if you, let's say you want to flip the camera upside down, uh, you could just type 180 in the uh, set axes and you're, it's going to flip the camera upside down, kind of fun. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. You should uh, play around with it. It's Camera and lighting is fun to play around with. Anyways, so the camera zoom is another thing. Um, if we just set it to zero, uh, we won't be able to see anything once again because uh, when you set the camera's zoom to zero, it's it's going to zoom in all the way, um, and we don't really want that. So let's set this to something like 80. Oh, it, it's still flipped upside down. Sorry about that. There we go. So that's 80 zoom. Okay. We can also change this to something very far away, like 200. Now the camera is really far away. And you can also go with something that's really close up, like let's say 20. So now it's zoomed in a lot. Right, so that's, uh, well, that's the basics of camera, setting the camera in Fancade. Now, of course, uh, instead of just setting the camera's position to some vector that we have already defined, we can also do something else. Say, set the position of the camera to another object's position. So let's say we take a brick block here, and then we grab a get position script block, and then we plug the pink wire into the brick and then take the position output and plug it into the camera. <clears throat> so now it's going to get the position of this block right here 
and set the camera to that position. So when we hit play now, you can see it sets the camera position to that object. So wherever I move this, it's going to set the camera's position to that object. Now this is really useful uh, for, uh, let me give an example. Let's say you have a character in your game, like the swipe chick here. Then you can set the positions, uh, you can set the camera's position to your character. So when you move your, your when you move your character around, the camera is going to follow it. This is a little bit too much zoom. Let's zoom a little bit out. Let's say 60. There we go. So now the camera is following the little swipe chick here. Wherever we go, the camera will always follow it. Pretty cool. Now, actually, I'm wondering what happens if I set the camera's uh, or the swipe chick's rotation to the camera's rotation. How is it gonna look? Oh, <laughs> well, this looks really unnatural, really trippy. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really fun to play around with. Um, anyways, so that's the basics of setting the camera in Fancade. So let's move on to some lighting. So this uh, lighting block actu ha actually has two inputs, but uh, only one of them uh, can actually be used. This one right here, the position, it doesn't really do anything. Um, the reason it's here uh, is because of, a, I think, a previous update. You used to be able to set the position of the lighting, but you can't do that anymore. So this input doesn't actually do anything at all. So just worry about the rotation for now. So you can, also, you can set the uh, rotation of the lighting in your game simply by putting in a rotation and plugging it into the rotation input and when I hit play you'll see that the shadows look kind of weird because uh, we're setting the lighting to come from you know this direction right here so they hit like they hit this side right here of, of the blocks it hits these sides and it creates this super long shadow I, I think it stretches pretty far out <laughs> yeah so of course you can change these to say something like 45 in the X and maybe negative 90 in the Y. It'll give us these, these shadows. Uh, you could also do negative 135. It'll give us these uh, nice, uh, these diagonal shadows. Kind of cool. Let's do something fun with this now. Let's create a spinning shadow. So in order to do this, we're going to make a variable or create a variable. And we'll all, we're also gonna need a multiply block for rotations. Uh, so let's um, create a variable here. Name doesn't matter. Let's just call it, uh, uh, let's just call it rote. Yeah, let's just call it that and Let's combine the rotation, uh, the, the rotation with another rotation, this rotation right here. So now we're, now since the default value is going to be zero, zero, zero for any rotation, it's going to, it's going to create a rotation that, uh, that spins because it, it, every frame, it's going to combine itself with this rotation right here, um, which is going to create a uh, spinning rotation. Okay, here's, I'll just show you what I mean. If I inspect this var variable right here, you'll see the, the angle is gonna uh, go around round, like you see there. Right, so now let's take the rotation or the variable and combine it with a new rotation and let's uh, create, uh, let's set it to something like 45 and plug it into, uh, plug it into the set lighting block. So now when I hit play, 
we're going to get some sweet spinning shadows. Look at that. That's fun. That's cool. Now we can change the the angle of the lighting. So now it the the sun the sun, yeah, the light um is a little bit lower down. So it's creating longer shadows. Now of course, if I set this to 90, that would be the same as say if the sun was directly above your head. Um that would it it would look like there were no shadows at all. So this doesn't really do anything. Anyways, yeah. Now you got some spinning shadows. Right, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. I hope you learned something. And uh, I just want to say congratulations for making it this far. Um, yeah. Now, since you've uh, watched all the uh, scripting tutorials, uh, you should be ready to start creating your own games. Uh, you should have a basic understanding of scripting in uh, Fancade. So I encourage you to just start creating. Start creating something. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter what it is. Just start creating a game, a little game or something. I mean, that's the best way to learn, really. It's just to... It's just a start. Just create something. Um, yeah. Um, if you and now if you run into any problems uh, while you're scripting, uh, you can join our Discord server. We have a an official Fancade Discord server. It's full of wonderful people who would happily uh, help you out with uh, your problems. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something once again, and I'll see you in the advanced scripting tutorial series.